In this video, I'll show you guys how you can quickly create two things, a timer or a stopwatch. Let's see how it's done. Now the first step is to bring in a text plus element. Go to the top left of your screen, effects panel, titles and bring in text plus. Place it anywhere in your timeline. Now click on it. Go to the inspector tab on the top right of your screen and inside the text box, right click and select time code which is here. Click on that and as you can see, you've got a time code. Now if I play the video, as you can see, it will start counting 1, 2, 3. Now let me explain what this is. Now the rightmost thing are frames, then comes seconds, then comes minutes and hours. From the left, hours, minutes, seconds and frames. Now in most of the cases, you are not going to need the hours or the frames. So let me show you how you can remove that. If you want it, by all means keep it. But let me show you how you can remove those if you don't. So go to the text plus tab, go to inspector and here in text scroll below and as you can see right on. So just scroll it from the left to right to remove the hours. As you can see the hours are gone and then drag it from the right to the left to remove the frames. And now we just have minutes and seconds. Next part of the process is styling it. So just select the text box. And then select any font that you want. I'm going to go with, let's say, Inter. Right? Or maybe Carl Sans. Okay, Carl Sans. This is my favorite font. Now, once you've got the font, if you play this, as you can see, it'll start jittering. Most of the fonts will start jittering. Why? Because every single font has digits and every single digit has its own width. Right? So, one will have a lesser width than two. One is slim, but two is broader. Right? So every single time the digit changes, the text will keep jittering. Now to fix that, what you can do is first either just go ahead with a mono spaced font. If you go to Google fonts, you can see there's a section or any font website. You can see there's a section for mono spaced fonts. But if you don't want a mono spaced font, if you want something like this, like your favorite font or something, there is a solution for that. Just click on the font and in the text box, scroll below. And as you can see, H anchor, just select the leftmost button, which is, which says left. Yeah, just click on it. And you're done. Now, it won't jitter. See, the jitter has gone. So that's the solution for it. Now, once you fix the jitter, we are ready. Now, you'll ask me, this is starting from 1, then going to 2 and 3. This is basically a stopwatch. Yep, you're right. This is a stopwatch. So if you want to create a stopwatch, you're done. Now, all you have to do is simply just take it wherever you want and place it in the video. I'll just place it at the bottom left. And there we have it. We've got a stopwatch. If I extend this to 20 seconds, it will keep on counting till 20 seconds. Now, let's convert this to a timer. How to do it? Super simple. Just right click on your text plus element. Click on new compound clip. But before that, make sure that your text plus element is that big. If you want it for one minute, extend it till one minute and then right click on it. Create a compound clip. For now, we just want 20 seconds, right? So, we'll extend it till here. Now, it stops at 19, right? We'll go one frame ahead. Make it 20. Yeah? And now we'll right click on the element, select new compound clip, hit create. And now click on the compound clip, go to video, scroll below, go to speed change and select this left button, which points the arrows, which point to the left side, right? For you, it will be like this. Yeah. So just click on that and we're done. Now what we have basically done is we have taken the text, created a video of it and then flipped it, reversed it basically. So now if I go to the start of the video, it will start from 20. 19, 18 and so on. Now it has become a timer. So to keep it a stopwatch, just keep the text plus element like that. And if you want a timer, compound clip and reverse it. That's basically it guys. Now, let's say you want to change something of this timer, right? You want to change the font or whatever. So all you have to do is right click on this, go to open in timeline. Hit that and here you can change whatever you want, the font or anything, right? And if you want to go back, Either you can select this button and select display stat timelines or as you can see down here, compound clip one and timeline one. Double click on timeline one and you're back and you're good to go. Your timer is here, right? Now if I go to the end, as you can see, I've got one blank. So just remove that and the timer is ready. So that's basically it guys. That's how you can create a timer or a stopwatch in the venture Resolve. I hope you guys find this video useful. And if you do, make sure you like this video. It really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people. Also share this video with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel. I post such editing tutorials, how to tech videos, tech reviews, I stream games occasionally, and I post some knowledgeable and informative YouTube shots. I also have a website where I post weekly blogs about all of the stuff that I just mentioned. And I also have a Gumroad shop where you can get access to motion graphic elements at a super reasonable price. And that brings us to the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.